Channel 5, KXAS TV. Bids opened on new Dallas-Fort Worth South Freeway. And we'll look for a change in the weekend weather Saturday night and Sunday. And Pinky Higgins dies in Dallas. News at 6 with Russ Bloxham, Harold Taft, and Jerry Desmond. Now the news brought to you in color by your local Coca-Cola bottler. News at 6 with Russ Bloxham, Harold Taft, and Jerry Desmond. Brought to you in color by your local Coca-Cola bottler, the Lone Star Gas Company, and University Volkswagen. Now, here's Russ Bloxham. Area 5, Texas News. With Chip Moody, Ward Andrews, Harold Taft, and Doug Bear. With special reports from Frank Heeler and Willie Monroe. Now, here's Chip Moody. Thank you and good evening. There's been a major development in that probe of the Fort Worth Police Department's Auto Theft Division by the Citizens Investigation Committee. Good afternoon. This is the news. The House Assassinations Committee prepares to recreate the killing of President Kennedy. Fort Worth Mayor Hugh Palmer says he's against a proposed garbage fee increase. And a Carter cousin says the president couldn't get reelected today. Texas News with Russ Bloxham, Ed Eubanks, John Gross, and Harold Tan. Good afternoon. The House Committee on Assassinations will restage the 1963 killing of President John Kennedy on Dealey Plaza in Dallas Sunday morning. The Texas News with Chip Moody, Mary Ruth Carlton, Harold Taft, and John Gross. With special reports from Pat Couch, Bill Hicks, Joe Sanchez, and Carl Schiffman. Now, here is Chip Moody. Thank you and good evening. Residents in the South Dallas community around the intersection of Lego and Monty have lost seven large guard dogs to a mysterious sniper in the past four months. Texas News with Chip Moody, Harold Taft, and Carl Shookman. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Exactly one month ago tomorrow, between 6.07 and 6.50... For this special edition of the Texas News, we traveled to this ranch near Ranger. Texas News Watch is brought to you by your Metro Subaru dealers. Now here's Chip Moody. Good evening. Despite high waves and bad weather, the search continues tonight for eight men missing after the collapse of a big offshore drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico. New comments and controversy over the recommendation that Southwest Airlines be allowed to fly to other states from Love Field. A Dallas jury today sentenced Mrs. Kathleen Grotty to life in prison for the screwdriver stabbing death of her 11-year-old son. And popular bluegrass guitarist Lester Flatt died today at the age of 64. Reports at 10. From KXAS-TV, this is Channel 5 Action News. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. The fuse continues to burn in the Middle East and the fuse is getting short. From KXAS-TV, this 
is Channel 5 Action News. Good evening. For Garland tonight, the danger is over. This is Channel 5 Action News. Good evening, I'm Dennis Holly. This is Channel 5 KXAS TV. Coming up, Channel 5 News at 5, the best newscast in Texas. Dennis Holly, Ann McGarry. Meteorologist Harold Zapt and Scott Murray Sports. This is Channel 5 Action News. Good evening. Spectators applauded this afternoon in Austin when the state Senate gave its approval to a revised tax package. That bill was then sent to the House for approval. It's a compromise measure designed... Meteorologist Harold Taft and Scott Murray Sports. This is Channel 5 Action News. We've got two separate lakes down here. We've got one on top of tank car. And Brad Wright. Jane Giroux. Meteorologist Harold Taft and Scott Murray Sports. This is Channel 5 Action News Tonight. This is Channel 5 News, the morning report with Carolyn Razor. Jeff Elliott with today's business report. Meteorologist David Finfrock. And Dr. Bob Lanier with today's 60-second house call. And now, Channel 5 News, the morning report. Good morning. Making news this Monday, March 24th, Dallas police will gather this... Channel 5, KXAS-TV. This is Channel 5 News at Noon, the most watched newscast of the hour, with the team to watch for news. Jane McGarren and meteorologist David Vindrock's weather forecast. And now, Channel 5 News at Noon. Hello, everybody. Jane has the day off. 05 KXAS TV. This is Channel 5 News at 10. The most complete look at the news tonight with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray with tonight's sports, and meteorologist Harold Taft with tomorrow's weather forecast. And now, Channel 5 News tonight. Channel 5. KXAS TV. This is Channel 5 News at 10. The most complete look at the news tonight with the team to watch for news. Pat Warren, Mike Snyder, Alan Mallory with tonight's sports, and meteorologist Scott Chesner with tomorrow's weather forecast. And now, Channel 5 News tonight. Hello. Channel 5, KXAS TV. This is Channel 5 News at Noon, the most watched newscast of the hour, with the team to watch for news. Jane McGarry and meteorologist David Benbrock's weather forecast. And now, Channel 5 News at Noon. KXAS-TV. This is Channel 5 News at 5, with the team to watch for news. Jane McGarry, Reggie Harris. Scott Murray with sports, and meteorologist Harold Taft with the most accurate weather forecast in North Texas. And now, Channel 5 News at 5. Channel 5, KXAS-TV. This is Channel 5 News tonight, with the team to watch for news. Alice Carroll, Brad Wright, Scott Murray with sports, 
and meteorologist Harold Taft with the most accurate weather forecast in North Texas. And now, Channel 5 News tonight. This is Channel 5 News today with the team to watch for news. Carolyn Razor, business analyst Jeff Elliott, meteorologist David Vinfront, and Dr. Bob Lanier with the 60-second house call. And now, Channel 5 News Today. Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 24th, and our top stories today, police... This is Channel 5 News at 5, with the team to watch for news. Jane McGarry, Larry Estefan, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Tapp with the most accurate weather forecast in North Texas. And now... Channel 5 News at 5. This is Channel 5 News at 6 with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Caro, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Tapp with the most accurate weather forecast in North Texas. And now, Channel 5 News at 6. is Channel 5 News tonight with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Errol Tapp with tomorrow's forecast. And now, Channel 5 News tonight. This is Channel 5 News tonight with the team to watch for news. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Tapp with tomorrow's forecast. And now, Channel 5 News Tonight. The shakeup of the White House could put another Texan in a powerful position. Former Senator John Tower may be one of the wise men many say President Reagan needs now. Good evening, everyone. The bottom has fallen out of the Iran arms scandal, and it cost the jobs of two national security. This is Channel 5, KXAS-TV. With the team to watch for news, Mike Snyder, Ramona Logan, Tim Matthews with sports, and meteorologist Scott Chesner. And now, Channel 5 News, the weekend report. Channel 5, KXAS-TV. The news continues with the night nice team. Alice Carone, Brad Wright, Scott Murray, and Harold Taft. And now, Channel 5 News Tonight. Channel 5, KXAS-TV. I can't imagine anybody wanting to hurt her. I don't remember any Republicans or Democrats running on a please raise my taxes program. The doctors assure us that he's going to live a very normal life and grow up to be Dallas Cowboys quarterback. <laughs> the news continues with the night team. Brad Wright, Alice Carone, Scott Murray, and Harold Taft. And now, Channel 5 News Tonight. An area-wide search is underway tonight for a 31-year-old bank vice president. A boy lost his life. A boy had to take a life. This is something that's going to scar people. It's something that you can accomplish in life and say, hey, I went back and did this. I love it. The news continues with the night team. Alice Carone. Brad Wright. Scott Murray, and Harold Taft. And now, Channel 5 News Tonight. Good evening, everyone. Alice has the night off. For the second time in a week, an American Airlines jet has been grounded because of a bomb threat. A flight from DFW to Richmond, Virginia, made an emergency landing tonight. A no Channel 5, KXAS-TV. The news continues with the night team. Mike Snyder, Ramona Logan, Tim Matthews, and Scott Chesner. And now, Channel 5 News 
tonight. This is Texas News 5 with Randall Carlisle, Jane McGarry, Scott Murray on sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft. And now, Texas News 5, the 10 o'clock report. This is Texas News 5 with Ramona Logan, Jim Douglas, Meteorologist Scott Chesner, and Scott Murray Sports Extra. And now, Texas News 5, the weekend report. Channel 5, building a better Texas. This is Texas News 5 with Jane McGarry and meteorologist David Finfrock. And now, Texas News 5, the new report. Building a better Texas. This is Texas News 5 with Brad Wright and meteorologist David Finfrock. And now, Texas News 5, the noon report. Channel 5, building up better Texas. This is Texas News 5 with Brad Wright, Cynthia Tinsley, Scott Murray on sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft. And now, Texas News 5, the 5 o'clock report. Good afternoon. Building up better Texas. This is Texas News 5. With Alice Barone, Brad Wright, Scott Murray on sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft. And now, Texas News 5, the 6 o'clock report. Tonight. This is Texas News 5 with Alice Carone, Brad Wright, Scott Murray on sports, and Chief Meteorologist Harold Taft. And now, Texas News 5, the 10 o'clock report. Watching Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Now, Jane McGarry, Mike Snyder, Scott Murray on sports, and meteorologist David Finfrock. Live, this is Texas News 5 at 6. You're watching Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Now, Mike Snyder. Jane McGarry, Scott Murray on sports, and meteorologist David Finfrock. Live, this is Texas News 5 at 10. You're watching Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Now, Jim Douglas, Ramona Logan, Scott Murray with Sports Extra, and meteorologist Scott Chesner. And now, Texas News 5, the weekend report. You want to stick it out? Live from Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Angela Kane, Mike Snyder, meteorologist Rebecca Miller, and Scott Murray. This is Texas News 5 at 5. Live from Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Jane McGarry, Mike Snyder, Meteorologist David Bintrock and Scott Murray. This is Texas News 5 at 10. Live from Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Brad Wright, Angela Kane, Meteorologist David Bintrock and Scott Murray. This is Texas News 5 at 5, the Texas News Channel. With Jane McGarry, Mike Snyder, Scott Murray, and David Finfrock. Texas News 5 at 10 continues. We were prepared to go forward. Mr. Irvin knew that, Mr. Gillett knew that. And it was just the right time to put this thing behind Michael Irvin and behind the County of Dallas for all good purposes. Thank you. The drug trial of Cowboys wide receiver Michael Irvin is over tonight in a surprise plea bargain by the playmaker. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Live from Channel 5, this is Texas News 5 Weekend Report. Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. We begin tonight with some severe weather moving through North Texas. You're watching Channel 5, the Texas News Channel. Now, Cynthia Tinsley. Brad Wright, 
Scott Murray on sports and meteorologist David Finfrock. Live, this is Texas News 5 at 5. Police in Keller tonight have a mystery on their hands involving a car and a bomb. Good evening at the Target. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Tomorrow, a Fort Worth jury will start hearing testimony in the murder of Oliver, trial of Oliver Miller, Sr. Miller is accused of killing Emmett Allen, a well-known leader in Fort Worth's African-American community. Texas. Now, live, this is NBC5 Weekend Report. Libra. Live from NBC5, the first television station in Texas. Calvin Hughes. Sabrina Smith. Meteorologist Scott Chesner and John Radigan. This is NBC5 Weekend Report. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. Internet companies and the federal government are on alert today after computer criminals attack more websites. And it's Dennis Day in Dallas. The bad boy of basketball makes his debut in Dallas tonight. And if you're watching us up in Hebron, it's going to be partly cloudy, windy and warm. Your high temperature, 79 degrees. Good morning, Hebron and all of North Texas on this Wednesday, February 9th. I'm Shelley Lockhart. And I'm Michael Scott. Also some positive primary results for Governor Bush. Stay right to work. You're watching NBC5 Today. from NBC5, the Texas News Channel, Brad Wright, Ramona Logan, and meteorologist Rebecca Miller. This is NBC5. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. Good evening, I'm Jane McGarry. And I'm Mike Snyder. We live from NBC5, the Texas News Channel, Jane McGarry. Mike Snyder, Chief Meteorologist David Finfrock, and Sports Director Scott Murray. This is NBC5. Now live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. Good evening, and we begin on this Thanksgiving night with the death of a Texas legend. This is NBC5, Dallas-Fort Worth's number one rated late news. Now live, this is NBC5 News. Now live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. We're watching a homeland security situation in Florida. Strange details from the interstate shutdown on NBC5, first at four. A water emergency in one Dallas community. News from the... Now live. This is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. We're still hoping that our son is out there alive. You know, that's, that's our hope. But, you know, if not, I mean, any family want closure. I mean, we just can't let it go un unsolved like this. The family of Baylor basketball player Patrick Dennehy speaks out, hoping for some answers in his disappearance. Welcome to NBC5 First at Four. I'm Carol Wang in for Elsa Ramon. And I'm Todd Wallace. It's been nearly a month now after the disappearance of Patrick Dennehy. Mike has some customers hot under the collar. We'll talk about what they're talking about coming up on NBC5 First You're at Four. You're watching NBC5 First at Four, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. Feels like... Like March to me, really. Unseasonably warm temperatures are making it easier for kids, young and old, to enjoy their Christmas presents. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Scott, in for Mike Snyder. And I'm Sabrina Smith. Jane McGarry also has the. Murray explains it all later in sports. Live from NBC5, the Texas News Channel, Jane McGarry, Mike Snyder, Chief Meteorologist David Finfrock, and Sports Director Scott Murray. This is NBC5. Now live, this is NBC5, the Texas News Channel. A tip about a known sex offender leads officers to a secluded Halton City pasture to look for a missing six-year-old girl. Good evening, new tonight. Investigators may be closing in on a land view in the hospital, but it might be a good thing. Live from NBC5, the Texas News Channel, Jane McGarry. Mike Snyder, 
Chief Meteorologist David Finbrock, and sports with Brian Jensen. This is NBC5. Now, live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. It's pretty cold. Yeah. That was nice until it got windy. Thanks. <laughs> A big blast of winter weather bears down on North Texas tonight, bringing an icy mix that could make driving difficult. Good evening, I'm Kevin Coakley. And I'm Christine Sorensen. The cold front blew through today, temperatures plunging at least 30 degrees. Oh, live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. And we were too scared to go get him, and he was too scared to swim in. America strikes back tonight. Americans getting a close look at a new video of Osama bin Laden describing the attack on the World Trade Center. In that tape, bin Laden says he was pleasantly surprised when the Twin Towers collapsed. He apparently only expected damage to several floors. And two... Live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. Good morning, it's... Four no, live, this is NBC5 News at 6. We now, live, this is NBC5, your source for live, local, late-breaking news. You're watching NBC5 News today. Welcome. You're watching NBC5 News, first at four. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brian Curtis. And I'm Meredith Land, in for Christy Nelson. Well, we can... You're watching NBC5 News at six. I talked about uh, being weak. You're watching NBC5 News at 10. You're watching NBC5 News in high definition. You're watching NBC5 News in high definition. Now, live from HD Studio One, this is NBC5 News. is NBC5 News. We begin tonight with a developing story in Fort Worth. A 14-year-old girl has died after coming down with the flu. NBC5 Scott Gordon just talked with the girl's family and joins us now with the story. Scott. Well, Mike, it's an incredibly sad story, but... Now, live, this is NBC5 News. He served his country overseas only to be gunned down on the streets of Fort Worth tonight. The Now live, this is NBC5 News at 11 a.m. We are following breaking news in Denton right now. New details are emerging in the investigation of a small plane crash that killed one person. Two others were on the plane that went down at around 2 o'clock this morning. Is NBC5 at 10. Right Home alone when you're watching NBC5 News first at four. We are you're watching NBC5 News at five. Good evening and thanks for joining. You're watching NBC5 News at ten. Tonight, North Texas brace for a you're watching NBC5 today at four thirty. And this morning, we're following a story developing in Fort Worth where police are searching for a killer. That is our 4.30 half hour on a Tuesday. NBC5 Today at 5 starts right now. You're watching NBC5 Today at 5. And a good morning to you, North Texas. I'm Laura Harris. Here are five things you know right now at 5. Let's start with brand new video from a Dallas fire rescue. Downtown Dallas, NBC5 Today at 6 starts right now. You're watching NBC5 Today. Breaking right now on NBC5 today at 6th Street Racer spotted in the middle of the night, leaving police searching for suspects this morning. This pandemic has been a wake up call. You're watching NBC5 News at 5. And first tonight, breaking news in Benbrook. Now at 6, a tree fight, a city council member blocked from building on his own property. And not so fast, a last minute change blocks a plan to get panhandlers off Dallas Street. So what happens now to the $100,000 solution? You're watching NBC5 News at 6. New at 6, a McKinney City Councilman is accused of chopping down 
More than a dozen trees illegally, but on his own property. The city says it happened at the site of a new brewery near El Dorado Parkway and Highway 5. Three big stories breaking now. Southwest orders enhanced inspections of its entire fleet after an engine blows in midair, killing a woman. Four, numb, just overwhelmed. Tonight, we are hearing from Texans who tried to save her as federal investigators reveal fresh clues about what might have caused the catastrophic failure. Plus, remembering former First Lady Barbara Bush, who died tonight at the age of 92, the message her husband is sharing, and the tributes taking shape in North Texas. And late-breaking details, a top U.S. official makes a secret trip to North Korea to meet with Kim Jong-un, what the White House is saying. You're watching NBC5 News at 10. Tonight we have the first clues about what might have caused today's disaster aboard Southwest Airlines Flight 1380. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meredith Land. I'm Christy Nelson. And I'm Brian Curtis. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board say they have found evidence of metal fatigue and it starts right now. You're watching NBC5 News at 10. You're watching NBC5 Today at 4.30. And coming up here on your Wednesday morning on NBC5 Today, growing concerns over that Delta variant of COVID-19 as cases continue to rise. Which parts of Dallas County are seeing more cases than others? Plus, it's grand reopening day for a North Texas grocery store that was left in ruins after the Dallas tornadoes. And North Texans locking in their holiday plans, but... Hey, pack your patience too as companies prepare for a surge of travelers. What you need to know this morning when planning that big trip. And good Wednesday morning, everybody. Glad you're up early with us. Hey, this new look. I haven't been here since this happened. Grant, good morning to mm, you. Yeah, hey, welcome, welcome Evan. Yeah, good new look. You're in a minute. NBC 5 Today at 6 starts right now. You're watching NBC 5 Today at 6. Governor Greg Abbott and former President Donald Trump meeting today. The two are discussing plans for the partially built border wall separating the U.S. and Mexico. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden brings her COVID-19 vaccine push here to North Texas. Her message for those who have yet to go out and get the shot. Meantime, her husband, President Joe Biden, is on the West Coast feeling the heat. His meetup today with leaders dealing with extreme record-breaking heat that is fueling those wildfires out there. Millions from coast to coast have been dealing with that extreme weather for more than a week now. We've got more on that coming up in just a moment. But first, we want to say a good morning to you. Thank you. Right now, five First Lady Dr. Jill Biden's national vaccine tour stops in Dallas. Her message to North Texans ahead of Independence Day weekend. And speaking of the holiday, the new incentive Southwest is offering employees to help ease a surge in travel. You're watching NBC5 News at 5. We begin with the First Lady's visit to DFW today. She's touring vaccine sites in Texas, urging everyone who can to get a COVID-19 shot. Let's get right to NBC5's Brian Curtis live for us. Brian, this is all part of a wider campaign, right? Yeah, that's right, Meredith. This is a three-city trip. It's part of a nationwide tour to reach Americans who the White House says still need protection against the virus. For at six, thousands of North Texans could be at risk of losing power in their homes, but not because of an outage. NBC5 Responds is looking into what people can do to protect themselves. Then a young Dallas man lost his legs after the winter storm. How he's staying optimistic even after frostbite claimed his limbs. Then could masks return the contagious form of COVID-19 that has health experts rethinking mask wearing guidelines even for those who've been vaccinated. And the North Texas teenager back on the bike following revolutionary heart surgery that used to have patients in recovery for weeks. You're watching NBC5 News at 6. We begin tonight with an NBC5 exclusive. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is in Dallas today promoting vaccinations. They're cool. Plus, she is back from Olympic trials and preparing for her trip to Tokyo. It hasn't even hit me still. A North Texas gymnast story of perseverance. You're watching NBC5 News at 10. 
Thank you for joining us. We begin with the looming travel rush. The 4th of July holiday weekend is just days away and the skies and the roads will be the busiest we have seen since before the pandemic. You're watching Channel 5, the Texas News Channel.